Hey guys, it's Jonathan with One Big Impact. Today I'm going to show you a quick, or they're going to do a quick review of the Beats headphones. Okay, so obviously, as you probably noticed right away, they're awkwardly large. Maybe that's only in my head, but I feel like I have these huge things on my head. It's kind of like in the 90s when you had those things on your head. And they had that little antenna. It was the AM, FM radio. Like that. Yeah. So, anyway. Maybe I'm the only one that feels that way. I don't know. Let me know. Do you think they're awkwardly large? These are the Beats Wireless Solo. Uh, so, basically, they come with this little case. Nifty little carabiner on the side. Black and red. Of course, my favorite colors because I'm an Aries. That's definitely a plus. The next thing is they come with a cord. You might think, so what? It's a cord. Ah, but it's not just any cord. These, my friend, are wireless. This, my friend, is your emergency backup plan. That's awesome. So you have volume up, volume down, stop. Kind of nice. Nothing super crazy. The cord itself does not get tangled as quickly as skull candies and stuff, which is really nice. It's a little over three feet, which is about perfect. Now, for the headphones, other than the fact that they are awkwardly large, like I said, they are... I had to make sure I was recording because I came in here with headphones on, jamming out, and I wasn't sure. And I got a stove cooking, food cooking on the stove. Anyway, um, they are extremely comfortable. Under here, I don't know if you can see right there, but that's a pretty thick pad all the way under there. All the way under there. And it's got, uh, these have probably got to be the softest material I've ever had in my life. It does cancel a lot of the noise. Well, it, can't, it cancels all the noise. If I have it all the way up, they cancel all the noise from the outside. I am told that you can hear a little bit of the music outside of the headphones when it's all the way up. But if you have them on your neck, you can hear all of it. If you're looking for something that you're going to be running with or exercising with aggressively, like cardio and stuff, these might not be the best for you. On the treadmill, I've had no problems with them. Uh, they stay on just fine, uh, running pretty fast, no issues whatsoever. But if you're like hiking, uh, fast runs and stuff through the wilderness where there's a lot of jogging, jumping around and stuff like that, be careful um, because if you drop these suckers, there goes, you know, three, four hundred bucks. I love the fact that I don't have to use this when I'm at the gym. That's the biggest key factor. This is why you're going to see these so much at the gym. They fold. They go in the pouch nicely to stay nice and uh, with, without virtually anything. Clip it right on your belt. You got your headphones. I know it's kind of bulky, but um, you get a nice stereo sound. You're not going to get, like the earbud sound is very piercing and deafening into your ear, which is very well desired for me. I like it a lot. But this is more like you're in a room that has big woofers and stuff like that. It's more of like a surrounding type, um, surrounding the ear type thing rather than in the ear, inner ear sound. If that makes any sense. Hopefully it does. Um, also, it's comparable to like the Skull Candy 5050s, which is a pretty loud version of the Skull Candies and I've had no issues whatsoever. I like extremely loud music and it's right there with them, um, turned all the way up. On the side here, on the bottom first of all, it takes uh, USB, micro USB, which is the same as your cell phone, 
Um, this is going to be the power button right here. Turn them off like that. You're actually going to see the little LEDs. There's about five of them right there. However much charge you have, you'll get like five LEDs, the lower charge, four and three and two and one or whatever. So it's a good way of identifying where you're at on charge if you're needing to charge them up. On this side, you, you can't really tell that it's a button, but it is. Hopefully you can hear that. That would be volume up, volume down, stop. That's it. Volume up, volume down, stop. Overall, um, they do extend. This piece inside here is metal uh, or plastic. Uh, I don't know which one it is. But if you're in the sauna, it's going to burn your freaking ears. It's going to burn your face. It burns the hell out of me, so be careful. Um, overall, I would, if I had to rate them 1 to 10, bulkiness included in that rating, um, I'd say an 8. And the only reason I'm taking off two is because of the bulkiness, the awkwardness of wearing them, walking around. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It feels kind of weird. Um, other than that, they're extremely comfortable. They stay on my head. The only exercise I've not been able to keep them on my head would be for uh, sit-ups and stuff like that because they just want to roll back. Uh, other than that, I think that's about it. That's the Beats Solo Wireless review. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put them in the section below. Uh, my name is Jonathan, and this is One Big Impact. And that was your review today. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel.